This morning we're going to start with NASA because they are investigating what went wrong at a Virginia launch pad. A supply rocket headed to the International Space Station exploded last night just after liftoff. No one was hurt, but the blast destroyed nearly three tons of cargo, and a launch site itself now is out of commission. And that accident is raising new questions over NASA's decision to scrap the space shuttle program. Chip Reed is at the facility on Wallops Island along Virginia's eastern shore. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. This was the first catastrophic failure since NASA started using private companies to resupply the International Space Station. The violent explosion of an unmanned orbital sciences and Terry's rocket lit up the evening sky Tuesday over NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia. The 14-story rocket on a resupply mission to the International Space Station broke apart only seconds after launch, showering debris across the Virginia coastline. We don't really have any early indications of exactly what might have failed, uh, and we need some time to, to take a look at that. This amateur video shot on board an aircraft shows the fiery explosion from 3,000 feet above ground. Holy crap. The rocket was carrying a cargo ship loaded with more than 5,000 pounds of gear for six space station crew members, including food, tools, and replacement parts, along with student research projects and 32 small nano satellites. We have plenty of supplies on board space station, so the crew has uh, all the food, uh, water, uh, and other consumables necessary to support them uh, well into next year. Orbital Sciences, a private company, holds a $1.9 billion contract with NASA for at least eight space station resupply flights through 2016. Tuesday night's Antares rocket launch was their fourth such mission. That's a major setback for Orbital. They're embarrassed by it. They're certainly disappointed, and they're going to do everything in their power, I'm sure, uh, to find out what went wrong. NASA's shuttle program, which was responsible for supplying the space station, ended in 2011. Tuesday night's spectacular failure is raising the question, did NASA make the right decision by hiring private companies to go into space? Well, I don't see this as a, as a threat to this commercial model that NASA's implemented to keep the space station resupplied. The goal was to lower the cost. As part of that, the risk goes up a little bit. Investigators are expected to be on the scene later this morning looking for answers. The loss is estimated at $200 million. The next flight is scheduled for April, but of course that could be delayed depending upon the results of the investigation. Gail? Chip, we thank you.